hi lovelies welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on today's menu how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great compliment of the season to you all my amazing fans i'm super happy to be with you today i'll be making this easy yet flavorful recipe so stick with me let's get started so i have some ingredients like tomatoes green bell peppers onions ginger garlic gloves blended crayfish habanero pepper head of fish this is the head of fish that i got from the tilapia fish pepper soup that i made if you miss out on that video i'll be linking it at the end screen of this very one kindly click so that you see how i made it like you will come back and thank me especially this winter season so the rest of the ingredient for this very recipe can be found on the description area please kindly head over there to check them out in a clean pot, I'm going to transfer the green bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, ginger and garlic gloves. Mix them together, cover and allow to steam on a very low heat just to avoid getting burnt. 3 minutes later, I'm going to stir it once again. When I'm done stirring it, I will transfer them inside my blender and blend into a smooth texture. Please, you don't need your food processor at this point because you want those tomatoes bell peppers and the rest of the ingredients to come out very very smooth add some reasonable amount of palm oil inside your pot you don't need to bleach the oil at this point unless if your oil is frozen cold you can just allow it to heat up for a few seconds before adding the onions so I'm just going to fry these onions until the onions become tender. So the onions has been frying for 2 minutes and at this point I'm going to add in my tomato paste and I will fry for 5 minutes. Just to take away that tangy taste or the salt taste of tomato paste. Alright lovelies, the tomato paste has been frying and at this point I'm satisfied with it. I'm going to add some water. This is the water I got from raising out the tomato paste off my plate. I added uh, some tomato bouillon powder, onion powder, ginger powder and uh, a sprinkle of salt i'm going to stir it together when i'm done stirring it i will cover and allow to boil for five minutes five minutes later at this point i'm just going to add the fish if you are not a fan of head of fish don't worry i got you covered you can use basically any protein of your choice to achieve this recipe and at this point i'm going to add my blender stuff when i'm done adding it i'm going to add some water inside the blender just to raise out the remaining ingredient so initially while i was making this recipe my instinct told me that this pot was going to be enough but when i added the, the head of fish i regretted using this pot because i found it a little bit difficult to flip the head of fish especially the bigger one so please don't make such mistake don't be like me okay and at this point as well i was so lazy to grab a bigger pot to start transferring it you know when that happens sometimes it can be so tiring <laughs> so i'm just going to test for seasoning when i'm done I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for 7 good minutes because that head of fish is big. Nobody wants to eat raw fish or raw meat, okay? 7 minutes later, we are here again. I hope you are still with me. I hope you are still with me. Alright lovelies, at this point I'm just going to gently stir this fish all around because I don't want that head of fish to fall apart. I am a big fan of head of fish, bones, like I'm super excited. I can't wait to enjoy this head of fish. By the way, I was actually making this recipe just for myself and myself alone. 
I'm the only lover of bone or head of fish in this house. I've been craving for this particular recipe for God knows how long. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you normally do with your head of fish? Are you a fan of head of fish either? So at this point, I went ahead and added the, the blended crayfish. I'm going to introduce the remaining red onions. I will test for seasoning. So when I tested for seasoning, I needed to add some. I did that off camera. Back in my country of birth or where I grew up, I normally add nune, locust beans or iru to this particular kind of recipe. So if you have it, that will be super good because it will actually boost elevate the flavor of the recipe even more better. But if you don't have it, that will be fine. Your recipe will still taste good. So these are some of the fish head that I've been storing in my freezer. Waiting patiently for the day I will come up with this recipe. So I added it at this point because I've already cooked them before now. I'm going to stir them gently when I'm done. I will cover the lid and allow to boil or simmer for 2 minutes. This is as simple, easy, awesome. I hope you try out this recipe and if you are a fan of head of fish, I hope you don't throw your head of fish again. Alright lovelies, here comes the final result of our easy but tasty fish head recipe. You can enjoy it with any swallow of your choice. You can enjoy it with your pasta, your rice, your yam, like basically anything you want to enjoy it with. You can also pair it with this easy average okra recipe. I also have it on my channel. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoy it or if you find it helpful, Please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and your family. I will catch you all on my next video. Bye lovelies.